Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the first day of the week of the of the last week of 2022, December the 27th, Monday. And what are we looking at? We're looking at the Dow up 202 points. That is really important. Uh, if it goes above 36,189, that's starts with egg C. Why do I mention that? Because the S&P is at an all-time high. The S&P is now at 47.68. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, all-time high. Leg D in the uh, daily chart of the uh, in Chapman Wave methodology. Now, what's really going to be quite important this week is how do the QQQs act? Uh, how does the... Um, and the semiconductors at? Well, the QQQ is up 5.37 at 402.29. Really nice. Over all the left side, uh, the recovery highs that were made, trying to tackle the 4871 all time high. Yep, it looks like it could do it. And if it does that and goes to 409, I have to consider the weekly charge really a leg C and we should have further highs. But certainly the SP. Uh, monthly has gone to a leg B, and that says you can't get a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, the fourth highest peak, until 2020, the first quarter of 2020. Let's go to the um, IWM, which is the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 now has turned around, was down. Now it's up $1.41 and 223.44. It's been carried up. It's bumping up against the 50 period moving average resistance. And it's kind of lagging badly, but it is trying to play catch up. Gold is now. Um, up a dollar five at 1813. Just kind of stuck in this range. If it starts to trade in the 1820s, I'd say that's much, much better action. And it needs to do that two out of three sessions. And it says, ah, finally, I'm, I'm rid of that 1800 level. That can be support. Uh, it was resistance. Next thing we're looking at here is uh, crude oil. Crude oil is looking um, not bad. Oh, not bad. It's now very good. Up two at 75.81. Uh, Bitcoin has had a bit of a rally. Uh, it's at four, up 455 and 51,015. It's trying to make a little cup formation to turn around. And the TLT, that's going to be important, up 25 cents at 148.77 says, you know what, rates are not an issue right now. They haven't broken out. They haven't broken down. They're just kind of stuck in a range. So with that said, the VIX index, which is a volatility index, which is a measure of fear, is down at the 18.24 area. And that just suggests down in the 18s, in the 17s, says buying is going to keep coming in. A sudden spike to the upside uh, into the 20, I'd even say it needs to get to the 21s to say, whoops, now we're back to being very cautious. But at this particular point, things are looking much, much better. Um, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Larry Bisavento coming up. Great programming at TFN. I don't know if the Tiger Dollars are still up. They were up up until the, the weekend. Uh, if they are, check.